The new generation of state-of-the-art technology is needed in petroleum wet and dry sludge treatment to ensure that oily sludge is treated with a sustainable environment-friendly technology and in the most energy-efficient manner. We are presenting to you the best green technology for the treatment of wet and dry oil sludge that combines the processes of oil mixed drying and new generation combustion technology that can use used dry sludge, wort sludge, and even mixed waste. Let's have a look at the processes of the environment-friendly and energy-efficient technology. Our technology is divided into two main processes. First process is the drying of the wet oil sludge. This is followed by second process which includes incineration of dried sludge, heat recovery, use of heat for the drying of wet sludge, production of electricity and gas emission treatment in our design. There are three duty and one standby trains in the facility each train is identical and has its own independent process as an overview each train has the capacity to handle 90 to 100 tons per day total of 360 to 400 tons per day for four trains sludge is dumped in an underground sludge storage bunker sludge is mixed with preheated oil in a mixing tank oil mixed sludge is moved through a series of evaporation tanks where the wet sludge is dried to more than 80 percent to 90 percent of the solid content the steam heated from the main combustion chamber is used to heat the dryers and the steam is reclaimed and reused in the drying process. Dry sludge is channeled to the main combustion chamber for complete thermal destruction. Heat recovery boiler to recover energy and produce steam used for sludge drying treatment and the emission of gas steam turbine generator that can generate 1.5 megawatts of electricity for entire plant operation. How does the sludge drying process work? First wet sludge is stored in an airtight underground bunker for which the sludge is stored for a maximum of three days. While dry sludge goes to dry sludge storage directly for combustion, through a separate reception gate next sludge and preheated oil are supplied to the mixing and warming up tank our unique technology dries sludge by using heat from the combustion chamber inside the evaporator heat transferred to the wet sludge helps helps destroy cell membrane of sludge so that water contained in sludge can be removed by more than 80 to 90 percent while sludge is being dry the pressure inside the system is reduced to speed up evaporation and enable evaporation to take place at lower temperature of 85 degrees Celsius. Next the dried sludge is transferred to the control tank and the steam is recycled back for reuse. Now the dried sludge is in solid form that can be used as burning fuel with high calorific value and does burn effectively inside the specially designed combustion chamber. The dry sludge is pushed to the incinerator combustion chamber for complete combustion. This combustion chamber has the following features a cool inlet combustion air is automatically preheated to 500 degrees Celsius which enables combustion temperature to reach 2000 degrees Celsius in a few minutes many other incinerators need a long time for heating up and this makes it costly to operate and causing time delay its strong rotational air flows into double cylindrical structure forming an air curtain the air curtain moves from top to bottom between inner and outer wall and prevents High temperature combustion gas directly contacting to inner wall for the clinker issue strong air that flows in combustion chamber leads fly ashes towards the wall and pushes it to the bottom where it is discharged in addition world patented automatic bottom ash. Discharging system fundamentally reduces clinker production resulting in high combustion efficiency and reduced downtime for maintenance compared to other incineration technologies now how does the technology treat odorous gases? Odorous gases extracted from various processes are channeled to the incinerator recall that the center of combustion chamber in incineration is an ultra high temperature of 2000 degrees Celsius it can completely destroy all odorous gases as the system is designed to run the entire process in a negative pressure sealed system the drawing and incineration technology can be used in an urban area because odor does not leak out next flue gas discharged from the heat recovery boiler is passed through a proper air treatment system consisting of a semi-dry reactor and bag filters meeting the local emission limit values the steam turbine generator produces about 1.5 megawatts of electrical power which is sufficient for the entire plant operation hence our technology is completely energy self-sufficient and does not require external energy source we believe that our sludge treatment technology will be the best next generation waste to energy technology and throughout Middle East this can be the best mixed drying and incineration technology, will provide us a solution which, 
combines proper sludge treatment with efficient recovery of energy in no odor and air pollution problems.